guys how are you so hope you are all doing well this boring time in quarantine hopefully i can take the boredom away for a few minutes just gonna show you how to do this exact look a bit glowy skin fox eye bushy brows the whole shebang and yeah i'll see you in the next video bye like and subscribe and comment please <laughs> Actually, <sighs> so I'm just gonna sh jump straight in with my so we have a concealer spectrum palette in the shade BB6, and I'm going in with this, 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 and we're just gonna cover up all the places my foundation kind of just going to conceal all the problem areas, the places where I, the foundation kind of leaves my face like first, so around my mouth my nose and like the middle of my forehead are places that kind of my makeup leaves the building first so now that we have this absolute look going on i'm going to do my eyebrows so i'm literally just gonna get my simple soap i'm gonna get my simple soap um, my my cinnamide spray, so literally any spray. I'm sure, you could use even water, and I think. And I'm just going to brush my eyebrow. So the idea is to make it look like you got electrocuted. Just brush them babies up. I don't really, cause I've only started doing soap brows i'm not really sure when to fit them into my makeup routine like to start to do it before this concealer and everything but then i feel like they kind of get lost a little bit with like my foundation stuff or even like brushes going past and i feel like they don't stick up as much first of all problems so just run your fingers through flatten them down a little bit get all this so Articles. I'm gonna try use the end of my Zoeva foundation, so I can't even explain to you guys how sad this makes me. I'm in the shade one ninety end generous, and yeah, it's like one of my birdies is leaving the nest. Oh my god! I got that my black leggings. I can't believe that just happened. Oh, I'm okay. I'm fine. It's fine. I don't think there was this much left. I thought there was this. Not this much left. Okay, it's fine. We pair on. Everything's fine. Let me get out with my trusty. So no, same as me. It's fuchsia. Um, vegan bamboo brush. You know how it is. And. Probably gonna need to put on more soon. I'm going to go over with a beauty blender. contour my flora my contour sticks absolutely loving these recently i have to say have the contour sticks in the shade too and my highlight and stick i might use the, in the shade one it's very pretty blending that out with a so sue sd 301 brush So I'm gonna go back over with my foundation brush. Make sure there's no like harsh lines or any unblended 
I'm going to conceal with the Revolution Conceal and Define just a little bit under my eyes for that extra coverage. Just, my own's going to say C4. For my contour stick in O I put on some liquid illuminator by Flormeyer in the shade Sunset Glow. What is the made colour powder? If anybody has any powder suggestions. Please let me know because I don't want you to watch me put the same products on my face. Do you know what I mean? So we're going in with a beauty blender and the places I really want to be set. Does that make sense? And then get my little BH Cosmetics brush. And then for my last powder brush, we're going for a big fluffy wheel. So onto eyeshadow, we're going for the Kaylee Zosu Urban Bible Palette and Sabier, Sabier. With that, we're just going. All around the crease and a bit on the outer corner. So this is a domed brush that I used for that. Shade. Now I'm going for an e.l.f. blending brush. This is like a more flatter kind of brush and prophecy, prophecy right here. <laughs> and just slapping that on the outer corner. Going back in with the first shade and blending those two together. I don't even know if he's going to see this awkward if he's going to see it. And then we're getting Oath, this shade here, and on this slatted brow brush by Real Techniques. Should have done my other eye first. And then You. I'm gonna go for my other eye and then I will come back. Oh, we are back. I did this eye off camera. The line on this eye is so much better. We won't talk about it, it's fine. So, what we are doing on the bottom lash line is taking the first, the lighter shade, Savior, and just smoking that all out. And then the second shade, Prophecy, and just going on the outer corner. Laura Geller gilded, gilded honey. If anybody knows of any highlighters that can top this one, please let me know because I haven't been able to find anything that can top this one ever. We're gonna actually highlight now. Tip of the nose, bridge. 
Hier sind wir. I just use a real techniques brush to put that on. Now I'm using a 17 cheek brush, 17 cheek brush, to put it on the rest of my face. And now I'm using a So Sue SD304 brush and a glow up palette, and I'm just going for all of them. The usual contour combo, another thing I need to switch up. So, Mac, give me sun. Pull the caramel and using the brush it comes with. Curling my lashes and putting on my two favourite mascaras. So one is called Amplified by Pennies. That's the first one I put on. And the second one is called Lash Tent by George. George Pennies. Oh, in total I spent two quid on my everyday mascaras and they're the bomb so tiramisu rimmel lip line and then feel myself by mac on the outer corners And misbehaving by revolution on the middle. Might lack a bit more soap in my eyebrows because as I said they do sail. I don't look that electrocuted, so that's why. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is the final look. Cute, glowy skin. And a little fox eye. You know how it is. Tune in for the next video. I got a few things from Boohoo. I'm waiting on a few packages from Miss Guided. Going to do a little haul and a pamper and I. Tan and routine. The whole shebang. So tune in uh, for the next video. Like, subscribe and comment, please. Means the world. Bye,